all right guys welcome back to another hogwarts legacy video and today we have some pretty big news to talk about regarding the potential release date that just dropped so we're going to talk about that as well as new data mined information on how you could play the game 72 hours early so definitely stick around till the end of the video because you guys are not going to want to miss out on that now for those of you who are not aware there has been an update regarding the release date of hogwarts legacy now if you watched my last video then you know we talked about the potential release date being september 6th and this was because of a brand new listing for the art book of the game that was set to go live on September 6th. Well, the art book is the gift that keeps on giving because we do have an update regarding when the art book is going to be releasing, which should give us a lot more information regarding when the potential release date for Hogwarts Legacy is going to be. We got a brand new listing that has an updated release date for the art book. As Video Game Chronicle reported, they stated in their article, customers who have pre-ordered the book from Amazon UK have been receiving emails stating the release date has been revised to December 6th of 2022 they then stated in their article these emails seen by vgc and the original item listing noticed on reddit could infer that the game which is still officially slated for the release in 2022 will be released in early december now the reason why we're saying that there is an updated release date for the game that being december 6th is because another major title being released by warner bros this year gotham knights has a similar art book due out on the game's release date of october 25th we have had a lot of speculation about the game's release date and what may come with the game that we haven't been able to leak or be shown yet but for official news to come from amazon uk regarding when the art book will release is pretty huge however just because we know when the art book is being released doesn't really mean we know 100 the game is going to be released on the same day since it isn't necessary for a game to drop the same day as the art book we don't really have definitive information however it is very uncommon for a game to drop with a significant amount of time after the art book is released so overall regarding the release date we know the game has not been delayed yet or else they probably would have told us by now what we do know at this point is a release date of sometime in holiday season of 2022 so an early december release date does actually line up granted that is a tuesday release date and most games nowadays release on friday so maybe the art book is going to release on tuesday with the game officially releasing on that friday or december 9th of 2022 obviously this is all just speculation and we really won't know 100 until warner bros gives us the release date now let's say that the game is still lined up to be released release this year when are we going to get the official reveal of the game if i were to guess it would be a state of play that is solely focused on hogwarts legacy and they give us a reveal in that state of play i don't really see us getting a trailer that showcases the release date it will likely be in the next state of play now whether or not when that is is something to be questioned it could be next month it could be next week we really don't know what playstation is going to do next but if i were to guess the perfect time to reveal the game would be september 1st of this year and just like on our invitation to hogwarts september 1st 2022 at 11 o'clock that date and time to reveal the release date would just be perfect so that's why i think it's going to happen then because if not then that would be a big missed opportunity for the marketing of the game people are talking about hogwarts because it's the first day of hogwarts and if you guys are a part of the harry potter fan club then you'll know that you got your letter in that gave us when the hogwarts celebrations will begin which is of course 11 o'clock on september 1st now in regards to other news that we have received about hogwarts legacy there is news regarding the different versions versions of the game that are set to be released along with the DLC that will be coming with the game that is speculated to be available for purchase on the same day but we really don't know that much information on it either way we do have some news to talk about regarding the DLC as well as the pre-order additions and the bonuses including how you're going to be able to play the game 72 hours early in the previous video I went over the different items that have been leaked such as the Thestral Mount the Dark Arts Cosmetic Pack and the Dark Arts Battle Arena what we've got now is the different editions of the games and what the those extras will come with starting off we have the collector's edition of the game now we got official images that we're going to show on screen this information was actually data mined from their website so the collector's edition will come with the base game the festral mount the dark arts cosmetic pack the dark arts battle arena the dark arts garrison hat next up we've got the kelpie robe the steel case and the floating ancient magic wand with book this one is going to be scalped like crazy so if you guys would like to get that floating ancient magic wand with book you better get your funds ready with notifications on on every official source because this one is going to go fast it will be heavily scalped i know for a fact my recommendation if you do plan on pre-ordering this game which i don't really recommend for a lot of people but if you want that ancient magic wand with the book then i recommend going to locations that are local i'm personally a harry potter collector so i will be pre-ordering this game but that is just for the collectible items moving right along we've got the digital edition that will be coming with the base game the thestral mount the dark arts cosmetic pack the battle arena the garrison hat 72 hours early access 
access to the game which i believe is a digital deluxe only now i'm not exactly sure if we're going to be getting a disc for the collector's edition or if it will be a digital code if you would like to play the game early my recommendation is getting the digital deluxe version because if you buy the collector's edition you're gonna have to wait until that thing arrives which will likely not happen until the game actually releases the standard version of this game will only be coming with the base game and no extras now while this isn't exactly uncommon among standard pre-orders it would have been nice to get thrown a bone or get a small item like a hat or something similar to show that you are one of the originals who pre-ordered the game obviously if it's just a standard edition you're trying to get i would not recommend pre-ordering now the information on these editions were found in the hidden files on the hogwarts legacy website that appeared to show the various items included in the collector's edition deluxe editions along with attached links to large us retailers like best buy and gamestop suggesting that the pre-order campaign for these items could begin soon all of this was found by reddit user battle dash br who dug around the main hogwarts legacy website as previously stated now while you do get some of these items by pre-ordering a specific version of the game it is currently unclear on whether or not these items will be exclusive to the pre-order package you decide to purchase or if they will be unlockable as you progress through the game for instance the thestral mount i don't know about you guys but having an item like a mount be exclusive to only a pre-order would be kind of weird especially whenever we can go to the woods and actually be able to tame magical beasts like a thestral mount having that locked to just a pre-order would be kind of weird it would be better if they made it available for pre-order people as soon as they jump on the game and then for the people that didn't actually pre-order the game if they progress through the story and eventually find a thestral to tame then they can unlock that mount but it could be the thestral mount is just a cosmetic item we don't really know much more than just the fact that it will be a mount in the game that will be a pre-order item there is one item that is included in the collector's edition the floating ancient magic wand with book there is some speculation surrounding this item mainly on it being a physical item or not the reason for said speculation is because the item is exclusively found in the most expensive version of the game in my opinion it would be really weird if this wasn't a physical prop i don't really see how they could put this item in the game and just expect people to be happy especially after reading that it is a floating wand with a book only time will tell when it comes to confirming or denying what type of item the floating magic wand is with the book i am personally hoping that it's a physical item to have on my wall or even just on my desk but that's just me though you guys we are getting tons of news regarding hogwarts legacy that's being released about this game as the days get closer and we get even closer to december so only more information will follow be sure to stay tuned to the channel for more news and information regarding hogwarts legacy and the release date and updates as well as leaks and rumors related to the gameplay guys do me a favor hit the like button subscribe to the channel with your notifications on let me know down below if you guys are excited for hogwarts legacy in the comment section thanks for watching this has been wes and i will talk to you guys on the next video